Hey there, hello there, hello there. It's Jeff Cutter Diver welcoming you to semifinals action of the 80s 90s match play tournament at the Park 3 Challenge Golf Course. We have four kind of unheard of people. If you follow golf around, there's no like major superstars and all that. But these four guys, Craig Perry, Ian Baker, Fitch, Dan Forthman, Peter Jacobson, one of these four will win a trip to Augusta. At the end of the year, for the end of your tournament. Now let's take a look at the bracket. Craig Perry. Where if I can find Craig Perry? Where's Craig Perry? Uh, there we go. Craig Perry. He faced John Houston. Not, not related to Angelica Houston. But Craig Perry actually was down by three early in the, the back half of the on the back nine, but pulled off some big wins. He won the first playoff hole against Houston. And then Perry took on Nick Price from Zimbabwe in a big win. There was a battle royale between these two Titans, if you will. But three straight wins by Perry put Price out. And then he crushed Donnie Hammond, giving him a few holes, but Perry was just basically untouchable. Then he took on Bob Tway and won four straight holes from Tway and, you know, just basically used the magic. And in the quarterfinals yesterday, he faced Ken Green. He was up quickly, three up. Green put a few holes, but Perry did his job. So Craig Perry is in the final four. His opponent will be Ian Baker Fitch. Who took on another one for five and eight? Per Ulrich Janssen of Sweden. Tight match to the end. Second round, he took on Steve Jones of the US. Only gave up one hole to him. And then in the round of 32 against Tom Lehman. Tight match, but Baker Fitch won the last few holes. And then in the round of 16 against Glenn Day, gave up only one hole to him and just crushed it. And then in the quarterfinals yesterday against Scott Hoke. It was a battle. Hoke was trying to pull off his second straight big win of the day, but it didn't work out that way as Ian Baker Fitch won that match. And he got Dan Forsman first round against Mike Sullivan. He had it tight against Sullivan for front nine, but the back nine he did well in. Second round against David Everts. Tight front nine. And then the back nine, he put up some more numbers. They faced Daddy Everts. Crushed Daddy Everts into fine powder as the front nine. Then in the round 16 against Andrew McGee. He got off to a five-up lead on McGee. And in the quarterfinals yesterday against Marco Mira, I think the first major player he faced. He faced, like, middling prospects. That's the luck of the draw. Or unlucky the draw, if you will. He put up wins on 16 and 17 to take out Omira. He takes on Peter Jacobson. Who beat Gary Cook in the first round. Jacobson taking time away from ABC to do this thing. And he's back nine. And then he faced Jebel Osaki of Japan. It was a tight match, but Jacobson had to win on 18 to do it. Then he faced George Burns. Not yet. The actor, but the golfer. It was a tight front nine, and then 16, 17, he won. Then he faced Larry Mize, and it was a close match. Mize had a score one of win on the 18th to force a playoff, but Jacobson on the third playoff hole beat Mize. And then yesterday against Andy Bean, he had a great front nine, and Bean didn't have any magic. So, as tradition, we're doing both semifinals. Hey, Perry, we'll lead off. Perry, we'll lead off. Yeah. That's a pinch. Let's go from the rep. I don't know about that shot. Perry. I'm just going to put him this way. Or par. Nope. Perry should be able to turn the foot. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay. Harry. Or go up and over. Or go hole. Got it. This is this. This is stuff. Two up. There's Forsman. And Bunker. Jacobson. He gets to Bunker too. Good shot. Forsman. One to eight. And ooh. We're right down here one. Perry. Has he even reached the green? Pitch this down. Perry. Baker. You pitch it. Yes. Makes sense. For par. Got it. Another shot by Perry. Clutch shot. Taking a bench. Yeah, that was down to Muller Lolly. Oh, 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 oh. Horseman does it again. Jacobson. Ah, oh, hit the bunker. I don't think he has a chance. Bart. Well, you can two putt. So he's only going to punch. He's 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 going to punch. All right. And Baker Finch. Very bad move. He's trying to get some pin. Baker Finch can just stop that and then stop the fire pit. Look at that. And Baker Finch now has a clean up lead for the back in the line. There's Forsman on the Pebble Beach. Of course. And okay. okay. Jacobson. No. Going to have an angle. I have to go up to four feet away. Forsman for the hole. Nice throw up. Four times. So Perry and Baker Finch. Perry won the first two holes, but he has yet to win a hole after that. There's Baker Finch on 10. Up and nice. Perry. Go back a bit. Okay. For Birdie. Baker Fitch. Oh, and a miss by Perry. A brutal miss. He did a pack of two. Baker Fitch now is four up with eight to play. On to nine at Cypress. Oh, oh, Forsman, nice job. He avoids the water. Jacobson, same thing. Oh, Jacobson almost pulled that through. Forsman, for par. Oh, he missed. He did a miss, but Jacobson has taken a whole lot of Forsman and is only three down. On to 11. Up and over. Yes, 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 over. Oh, nice job by Baker Finch. Perry. Wow. That was just pure stupidity. Perry's lost the plot, Jakes. He's lost the plot. Make it for the hole. He just made a one cut in Baker Finch. Now he's five up. Forsman and Jacobson. Forsman's won five holes. Jacobson has only won two. On to the ten. Oh, touch. Too much lift on that. Forsman, can he do anything better? Well, he's in the ref. Jacobson should get close. Ooh, that's a mistake. Because... Forsman having to cut that way for the hole. Nope. Forsman for bogey. Misses it. That was huge because that would have tied it. So Jacobson's now down to two. On to Yaley. Oh, okay. Nice job. 
Perry. Let's start there. Let's take the pin. For Birdie. For the hole. He had a chance. And cut the gun for ten and flip it. All right. Jacobson to the right. Well, that is a good idea. You don't want to go far left. Because of the water. Oh, the pipe and put the place to the pin. About 12 feet. Jacobson does that. Flipped it. Force went for the hole. The force is in the hole. You can see that. Baker Finch looking pretty confident in himself. Until that happened. But Perry also hit in the water. Let's look down at the worst possible spot. A bogey. Make a fit for the match. I was short. That new Baker Finch is right there. We're on the cusp of going to the finals. That's been at Yaley. In the warranty, how can I lose? Well, somehow you can lose. Hold up! Hide on that one. Jacobson does that. For par. Yes. the hole. Really? He had a chance to go up by two and six to play. Okay, you can make a bench on 14. And. Oh! That was a That was a Break it to the right. Got it. And Ian Baker Finch crushes Craig Perry to find powder six and four. So Ian Baker Finch is in the final. Will it be Forsman or Jacobson? He'll have to deal with. Out of the wind. Jacobson. Beats the wind. That's the help. That's the help it make a match. The hole. That's just a good one, but I'm just going to go ahead and take this to catch up and then to go. Two down with five to play. Jacobson. Ah. And then we're going to go ahead and take this to catch up. For part. Nope, Jacobson botched it. Forceman. We almost got this win. Time to 15. Oh, we didn't see it in the other semifinal. For good reason. Both into the fetch cube. Both can pitch it up that way. Jacobson will pitch up that way. Now for part. Pitch it away. What a fetch cut. Jacobson needs to catch it. Come on. 15 feet. And he won't. And Dan Forsman will win the match. So no match. It goes to the magic of 16, 17, or 18. And we have a final. Dan Forsman and Ian Baker Finch are in the final. Baker Finch against Perry. Perry won the first two holes. And that was it. It looked like Crick Perry was going to pull off another blowout. As we were, but Baker Finch pulls it out and he'll move on to the final. Look at the score through 14 holes an even par, and Perry was plus 10. Meanwhile, Dan Forsman, Peter Jacobson. Jacobson did have a few holes, but the front nine was just basically where Forsman played his heart out and took down Jacobson. So I got to take a look at the highlights of these two golfers because. Believe me, this is an unbelievable final. I like this final. All right. So
So the information on Peter McVeigh, Peter Fitch, is he won the British Open in 1980, I mean 1991. So Baker Finch won in 91 the British Open, or the Open as they call it. In 91, Mike Hardwood was considered a surprise champion. So he did quite well. I mean, he did okay. Yeah. Wow. It says Ian Baker Fitch had a psychological block of 95 and 96. He had 29 PGA Tour events, but he either missed the cut, withdrew, or was disqualified. So that's just like unbelievable. And then he takes on Dan Horseman. Dan Horseman was born 1958. He's 65. He's won, he won nine, nine times professionally. His highest ranking was 33rd in 1993. His best major was top seven, was seven in the 93 Masters. So Dan Horseman, in the professional. So he won the Quantities Open, the Bay Hill Classic in 86. The Shearson Open, the Buick Open in 92. Pennsylvania Classic. Oh, on the PJ Tour, he won five times. He's won three times on the Champions Tour, but yeah, Dan Forsman. So that's the stats for the two for two people who will be going to the final at the Part 3 Challenge. Baker Finch and Forsman. Hey, the best man win. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.